Hello there! Thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and this is a real honor and a pleasure anytime you can hold the original artwork, the very original artboard that any poster was designed on. And that's exactly what I have here to show you today for Family Dog 7, FD7, the Euphoria concert poster. This is the original art board that again the poster was drawn on so this is it um, it's only the seventh dance concert in Chet Helms series of famous family dog concert posters in early May 1966 and the artwork was done by the distinguished and esteemed Wes Wilson so uh, as you can know uh, you probably know if you got this far the euphoria dance featured the daily flash and the Rising Suns, topping the bill there in the arch, and then the opening acts were different on different days. They're sort of above the days there, the six and the seven. You had Big Brother and the Holding Company on Friday, preceding Janis Joplin joining them by just a few weeks, and on Saturday, the Charlatans, at uh, all this at the Avalon Ballroom. A little bit ironic that the, uh, the headliner, well, it turns out the opening acts were part of San Francisco's legendary musical uh, legacy, shall we say, not so much with the Daily Flash and the Rising Suns, but uh, you know, that's just the luck of the uh, undercard and the underbill and everything like that. So, okay, well, the poster is sort of centered right there in the middle, as you can see, by like this wild, crazy man. Um, that drawing was not done by Wes Wilson, that was actually a cutout either by Wes or by Chet Helms, um, but they were nice enough, whoever did it, to include the artist's name. And it's right down here above my finger, and I'm not going to try to pronounce it because it's hard to really make out. It's sort of a scrawled signature, but that was very key. That was very, um, we'll just say nice of them to include, you know, the original artist's name for what is basically the central figure for the entire poster. Under that, under that figure, if I come in slowly and above Avalon Ballroom, you can see lights by Bill Ham there, and of course he started out, as I've mentioned in another blog, with the earlier family dog things in late 1965, thrown by Luria Castell and three others, um, such as Sparkle Plenty, is sort of when Bill was really throwing liquid projections up on the wall. Now what's great about this particular artwork, usually you know it's just a black and white skeleton of what was a beautiful color poster later, but what I love about this artwork is that many of the original first printings of the poster before the concert were black and white. So that's cool. That makes the artwork just as good as them. As a matter of fact, what's interesting is since this wild man in the middle is not black or white, it's sort of tan or beige, you see that? This uh, original artwork actually has more color <laughs> than one of the first printing posters. So, you know, that's kind of fun, kind of cool. Um, however, also on first printings before the show, there was a pale green color that was added. And then for second printings, that pale green was replaced by a, a, a reddish coral color. Um, so, you know, what a lot of people did, much like those early handbills like Doctor Strange and Sparkle Plenty, what a lot of people did with their black and white FD7 posters, they would color them in themselves, hand color them in. I don't know if the family dog did any themselves, um, but, uh, you know, Ellen Harmon was big on that and stuff in late 65. I don't know if Chet and John had, had people who would do that, but they were certainly colored in by fans, and those are pretty neat, especially if they were colored in in the day, you know, the same year as the show. Once again, you have family dog artwork that sort of, uh, you know, is a head-scratcher size-wise. Instead of being larger than a poster and shrunk down, the artwork is smaller than the poster and was blown up. The poster, of course, 14 by 20, and this artwork measures about 7.5 by 10.5 inches. Now, interestingly, if I zoom in a little bit below that 6 there, you can see that uh, nicely, meow, feel like an airplane, signed by Chet Helms. How's that? The now late and deceased Chet Helms. And over on the other side, not yet signed by Wes Wilson, but that shall happen with time, I strongly believe. And then, interestingly, in the upper, uh, well, let's see, I'll have to turn, turn on a side for you, the upper right-hand corner of this artboard, I'm going to come in and see if I can get this on there, uh, scribbled in pencil is something that certainly can, can answer definitively what I wonder, uh, a lot of people might wonder exactly what the number was. As you can see, the order was 500 posters and 7,000 handbills. So it's really nice to get that from such a good source, from Wes Wilson's original artboard. We can be pretty sure. Of course, sometimes the printers ran over or under, but that's certainly about what was printed for the first run. And just for the heck of it, in case you're curious, an artboard like this on the back, um, this is the brand used Harvey board. <laughs> that's, that's getting pretty picky, you know. Anyway, great to have original art in the family dog, especially the first few months and stuff. Just beautiful. Euphoria. I'm kind of euphoric to have this to show you. So I'm glad you and hope you enjoyed seeing it. I, I really enjoyed showing it to you. And we'll catch you for something else soon here on the Poster Central blog. Thanks a lot for coming by and have a nice day. Bye-bye.